Hey guys, it's Bear. Welcome back to my channel. For 2024, I am going to be doing a lot of Let's Plays. I have a very long list and that isn't with all the new games coming out and also other added games that I do want to play. So for this session, we are going to be starting Life is Strange. I have never played this before. I've never seen this game before. I'm really excited to get into it. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews about it, but I just want to play it for my own experience and just to see what the game is like. I have heard that a couple of people have cried during this game but once we do get this out we will be jumping into life is strange 2 as well if you are enjoying any of my let's plays so far then please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button i am also putting out content from my twitch streams at the moment we are playing through final fantasy 7 remake and i've also been putting out content with house flipper 2 so if you want to have a look on my youtube you'll see all the playlists on there as well but yeah let's get into this game i'm really excited i hope you guys enjoy the music's really pretty in this i did not know that square enix did this and start new game For your game and action decision will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Right, okay. This is keyboard. Yep. Run. No. Oh, wow. Tornado. Oh my god. Tornado. No, it's not. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. Now, so I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. That's pretty cool. I did stuff like that. Right? 
And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a I dark haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Take I do love my glass. analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. What if Arbus do it. chose to capture people at the height of do their it. beauty or innocence? I do love my analog camera. Damn it. I should take a quick picture now. She could have taken another approach. I have to I can't admit, believe I still I'm have this pencil case. I should upgrade to I the 21st century. Robert Frank. But I like it old school. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. It was honesty Plus it's perfect for my portfolio. And but I have to get my daily stuff. selfie quota. You don't have beauty without daily a beat. Daily selfie quota. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. That iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solid... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Um, you're asking me? You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody not. here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces making them extremely popular from the 1800s Sorry, on. Max. No the more selfies American right now. The self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him. I can hear the class <sighs> laughing at me. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. What is this, teacher? <sighs> Rude. Sir, why are you so mean? Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing app. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in this shot, and I'm sure you sure you did. like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural Kate? Event, are you good? Hi, Kate. Oh. Just by Hi, Max. Uh, no you who seem wins, quiet today? This is just a bump you seem quiet ground. today. Uh, just I thinking too much. From this process, but Don't we all? Uh, you want to grab a cup of tea? Not for everybody. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and oh, bitch about you. life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. So Kate must be a friend. Let's go on the computer. What we watching? Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Can we click on anything? No. Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time? I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Hey, Victoria, we don't like you, obviously. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Fuck her, don't worry about her. Even in pictures, 
The forest around here always looks mysterious. Oh, the lighthouse. Ooh. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Well, that was fun. Can we turn the TV on? Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. HDTV. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to pass you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Huh. Well, then I might send you a special picture of Chinese class. What's the because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. Getting and she plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. High school was She's the so worst. Evan, let me look at you. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa? To all of Hi. you. Oh, wait. American girl. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Is this my love Who is? You. American I love that picture of mom and dad. Like Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, you. as usual. Driving a car by the seaside, watching the That's world Dana talking to. Side. I think his name is Justin. Yeah. Wow, the animation, even if you were to walk into somebody. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. To I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Girls in the Stella is always deep in her no notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. American girls like dollies. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Warren? I wish I had. Daniel? I hate bully jock straps like Logan. Oh, we're looking at Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Oh, he's getting I wish bullied. I could beat the shit out of Logan. Screw you, Logan. A missing person. It looks like she's been gone for months. 19 years old, 5'5, five five, tattoo. Rachel Amber. They should just call it a sugar machine. Yep. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Gun-free zone. Good thing I left my AK at home. No one could try her till she There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. We were going to the bathroom. Juliet, what's happening with you? There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Join the chess team. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. All right, let's head into the bathroom. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <sighs> Why are we having a meltdown for? What happened? Rachel Amber is a bitch. Wait, that's the girl that's gone missing. Now who would bother to write that crap? A loser. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Maybe. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. 
You have a gift. Fuck it. <gasps> when a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Quick, get the picture of it. I love how she has a Polaroid camera. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example oh, of a photo? I do not believe this. Capture the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images right, of hopeless faces. <gasps> Do it so I get my camera back. I did now, it. Can you give I me actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human, the human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Diane. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and when children. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And well, Max we can answer? has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Do we get to Your generation so I can go back in time? For selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Oh, okay. Um, I have to use the bathroom. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Ugh, no. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me I after class. A French painter and I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. 
sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular. From so can I re? Oh, can I rewind and can I take over? So hold and shift. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Actually, I can. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Thank you. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. Obviously. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Can we give yes, the photo Victoria, to him still instead of ripping it up? Week. Even if you're submitting your- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, <sighs> excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Oh, I can't? Okay. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. Duly John Lennon it. once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on. I love how he called himself Don't old. let me stop you. Press control to quickly undo your previous actions using the rewind. Wait, why do I want to do that though? Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Oh, John Lennon said. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. Thanks. All the right answers. Good. Thank you. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Can we get to the bathroom in time? I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with anything? What's the matter with the science class? Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Well, sir, it's so happening again. I need a me. hammer to break it open. Oh, no. Hell of more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that maybe, gun maybe. away from me, psycho! A magic hammer. Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. Go, if I can back. reverse time again, I can help her. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No. I oh, damn it. Shit! No. Damn it. Don't. Ever tell me what to do. I'm Can we so do this? sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more oh, trouble. Have I got it in my hand? Oh, I have it in Nobody my hand. Would <gasps> ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Wait. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. 
What the fuck is going on? Do Magic. not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That I, means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. <laughs> excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Does a shit job with a gun on the on the premises. Thank you, Principal. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Oh, do we report him or hide the truth? Um, uh, I might hide the truth for now. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. What? No, he does not buy that Can rewind, I was gonna say. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Screw it. Let's report him. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family. Of course he And is. one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. You're welcome. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. God damn. Of course this academic drone won't do anything right? since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? No. I don't want to rewind. Little squirrel. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front <laughs> office? Thank you. Yeah, Nathan. <laughs> okay, this girl is like super missing. Hayden. I love how a fire alarm went off and everybody's just chilling. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. 
So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. Just imagine being able to actually rewind time. That'd be so nuts. Who am I chatting to? Stella? Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? Uh, not sure? I'm not sure yet. I mean, he's clearly a genius, but I don't agree with everything he says. He does get a bit pretentious, but he's passionate and just says what he thinks. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. What? Um... Victoria? Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't <laughs> think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. Okay. Um, did you know Rachel? So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of click. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Oh, tab, journal. Warren. Oh, hi, Warren. Excuse me? Hello? What? Uh, do you want to meet for coffee after school? Any excuse not to, sc to, no, 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 not to study, please. Make sure you check out Deck Romantic on my flash drive. Hey, Mad Mac, let's bust shit up. We have to study for a physics test, so if we bust anything, we, all, we also have to measure its velocity. Don't ignore this message. Oh my god. Same day, I'm eating the lot, looking cool, you'll see. My camera will be ready. Okay. Dad? Oh, is it my eight? Wait, 21st. Wait, hello? 21st. Oh, okay. Kate? Um, do we get a tea layer? Absolutely, I'm free. Okay, talk to you later. Mom, happy birthday. Oh. Okay. Okay, fine. I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Flash drive. Dorm. It's time to open your journal. Hello. I know you guys can't see, but there's a nice big middle finger up at me right now. Um, I mean, Nathan. Okay. Oh, okay. We'd so say this basically. Um. Right, okay. Kate, Max, Jefferson, Principal. Okay. Episode one. So, right, where's the dorms? Dormitories this way. This is graffiti. Vortex Club suck. Clever. 10 out of 10. Come on, Logan. Bring it, bro. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Hey, Alyssa. Oh, I can speak to her. Oh. Hi, Max. What up? Um, how are you? How are you doing? Fantastic. Oh, I'm by no. myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. I'll take a hint. Two. Thank you very much. Wait, can I get in? Victoria. Yeah. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. Okay. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. Wow. We ain't moving. Oh, wow. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? 
Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. If that was me, I would literally just walk across her. On her. Can I do anything? Can I make the sprinkler? I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Yeah, yeah, you could. Oh, look. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do oh, you no. know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look to dollar. I can't even chill on the steps. Oh, you moved. What a shame. Damn. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Is she though? Yeah. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Oh, Lord. Can I get in? None shall pass. Copy? There's only one way around this. Rachel owes me money. Pay up, bitch. Holy shit. Okay, let's see if this works. Come on, Samuel. What me? Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. Damn. What the hell? Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Oh my god, the drama. Oh, Sammy, I'm sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. I love how Samuel just casually walked off really slowly. Aww, what happened to you? Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I'm gonna make fun of you. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Good for Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Red rum. Taylor is a slave. Nice. No boys allowed. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Oh, shame. Read this week's edition on... Uh, seriously, who... Oh, seriously, who cares? Stomp em Bigfoot. Oh my god. It's in person. So Rachel. Toilet paper. Lovely. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. It's a fire alarm there. Board. Geek goils. Poster. We'll bang for Jesus. Poop. Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh. How sad. I didn't write anything. Oh. I have nothing to say. It's okay. It's fine. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. So they don't share a dorm. That's good. Well, share a room. Plant. Water. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Action with what? I just what? Mom sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales. Wow, about black belt honor student. Is that true? Uh, the principal said this was a serious false charge and that he's worried you're telling stories. Call me ASP so we can talk about this. Wow. Okay. K 
Can I call? How do I call? Nope, I can't. No, I don't want to call you. Screw you, Mom. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. You don't need a TV. No one uses TVs anymore. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. I brought your dress so I can watch some flicks while I study. Feedback just track me down in my room. Okay. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Draw? Pants. <sighs> Max well. and Chloe. Best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Uh, oh, no. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Let's take a photo. Why not? Hell yeah. Okay, let's go and get the drive. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Juliet, this is so stupid. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? You uh, why do you care? Me. Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet... Mason. Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Damn. Thanks for your concern, Damn. Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Well, guess what I can do? I can go back in time. Yeah, Juliet you Watson. Be nice. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you know? How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. Ugh. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. Right? I know proof is in her room. Oh, Victoria's room. I can help Dana and check out Victoria's room to find out if she is the kind of person I hope she's not. Victoria's room looks very clean. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. She's not compatible. Shame. Shame. TV, let's steal it. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says. That's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. Drop in. <laughs> Love it. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Hmm. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? I mean... Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. So sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Don't ask believe me, so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. As for Dana, who gives a shit? What the hell? Print the email. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. What's in a tablet? Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. No, don't. She's mean. 
<laughs> Did that say mess up for you? <laughs> Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here and this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. <laughs> you know what? I don't even care. I'm going to take the consequence. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Juliet, look at this email. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now You're let's welcome. see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Uh, what? I'm being nosy. <laughs> uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. It's okay. But I could rewind and make it up to her. What about looking? La la la, I don't see that pregnancy test. I assume Dana kept the appointment. <laughs> Can we use the laptop? Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. That's a thousand? And yes, but sure. Max, so terribly wrong. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy, question mark? He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Wait. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. <gasps> Damn. Let me go back. I heard the rumor about you. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. Of course. I was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Who? Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Well... Oh wow, they even have the reflection! Right, where are you? You can count all the cars, I'm so glad. On my way, okay. Assuming he's back this way? Fuck this shit! Ow! <coughs> that hurt! Damn, I better rewind. Get up, Alyssa, before you get hit. Alyssa, move your head! If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Welcome. <laughs> what happens if I talk to him? Who is this? Zach. Ooh, Zach, hi. Get lost, hipster. 
I'm not doing any interviews. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. <coughs> Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. All right, now listen to me. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Good for you. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It You're means a welcome. lot. Anytime, Kate. I love how awkward she is. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. <laughs> Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? No. I'm probably going for all of the wrong decisions right now. This soundtrack is so pretty. It's very chill and cozy. Right, Warren. I'm Ryan. glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Hey, Warren. Yo, Max, check it out. Word up. Here's your flash. What drive. up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? I've been busy, question mark? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Um, I've seen it. Seen it? I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Let's be cringe. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Let's talk to him. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of oh the Jefferson's God. photo groupies? Oh God. I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? 
I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal. Now, I answer me, bitch. The truth. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. I'm not letting you bully me. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the no. bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren! Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Me. Nobody! What? Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Wasn't she the go in the bathroom, like, right at the start? And if so, wouldn't she know that it was Chloe? Unless there's two characters with blue hair. I think she had blue hair? Maybe. I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson, gross. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No, you were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. in don't be shy the house still looks nice home shit home home shit home <laughs> boobs
My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. While you medicate? Are oh, you kidding? Alrighty. Uh, music, music, music. Postcard. Look. Let's be nosy in our room. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. We had such a blast drawing these together. Power girls. <laughs> what if this is a hoe? Right. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Uh. Let's get back in time then, and we don't touch it. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. Three grand. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Let's have a look. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Interesting. It won't play without any power. Well, oh, there we go. Switch on. Way. Houston, we have the power, but we need to find a disc to play. Need a disc? Wait. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. So who is she? So who is she? Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. Mm, Rachel took my place. I don't want it to sound like a jealous thing, so I never forgot. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. What happened? So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Uh, her parents. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? After I search your closet, yes. I'd rather have a life of oh wells than a life of what ifs. I like that. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Uh-huh. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. 
I love how she's picked me up from school and is basically telling me to just leave her alone. <gasps> Let's be nosy around the house. Kids in the backyard drinking wine. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. <laughs> Did that just happen? I did save it. You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free. Yep, be free in this bedroom. Joy still works at the diner, and Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> what if it's that guy? It doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Eek. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. I mean, she's upset. Her friend has gone missing. Oh, hello, Kate. That guy's an asshole. Damn straight he was. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Nothing. This is so lame. Wait, why is it lame? Just looked in one drawer. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He what wants to I put say? surveillance cameras all over the school. How paranoid can you get? Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Just said it. How did you not see that from the photos upstairs? Hmm. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? And I was walking around. So he doesn't have one in Chloe's room that I saw. Um. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Wait a minute, I'm looking. Be no password. Still. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Yeah, but we could, like, I don't know. Damn. See what he was doing? Shit! Butterfingers! You silly bugger. Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. She knows something? Weird. Well, the files are back up there, so they didn't get ruined. Cool. Now it's opened. Ah, uh, the front door. That does not look stable. No, you're right. It don't. Boom. Precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them.
That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Ugh. No, stop it. Or what you could have done was you knew where it was going to fall, so you could have put your hand out to catch it. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Yeah, I mean, we have just been having a look around our whole house and being nosy into it, but... Hi. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> nice framing, too. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Uh, yeah. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Like who? Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. Oh wait, we did the tell principal. the principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? Yes. That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention Noted. you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> How she know it's gonna work? This day couldn't get any stranger. Song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. 
Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe, Chloe. Chloe. I'm coming. Chloe. Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't no. get smart. Just let me in now. Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait! Is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Uh, okay. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon! Hey! Leave Joyce out of this! I wish you'd leave, Joyce! Like now! Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother, and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast! You're not that dumb. I'd be smart to have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Not rewind? No. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? Yeah, what if you had? Look, let me. I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to do that. No, I'm not going to do that. All right, come on, Chloe, let's get out the window. Damn, what are you waiting for? Open the window. Why do I have to open the window? I haven't been here in forever, so why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa, this is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Hey, Warren. Oh, oh God, you got a black eye. Oh yeah, I forgot we were going to talk to him. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Wowzer, Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. <sighs> A tree haiku? How pretty. I never look back. Sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. 
Are you pissed at me? Are you pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. I'm not as what? brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on Kate. Yes, he did. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. So what's Nathan's secret? What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much? How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum-rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am furious. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. Okay, I don't trust the police on things, so we'll just go with this one. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass.
but okay. I feel like the dough is leading me. What's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. We just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But I, right? Listen to me, how do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. <sighs> what the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. I mean, I did just tell you. That was good. I enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. So who report? Oh, okay. So I reported Nathan. So sixty-two percent reported him. I hid the truth. I you made fun of Victoria. Only twenty-six percent of people did that. Really? Okay. Okay. You intervened to help out. Yeah. Um. Who you took the blame for Chloe? You blame Chloe. You stayed hidden. 
1% blamed Chloe. Okay. He came out with Helen to intervene. <gasps> oh. Uh, you didn't let Daniel draw your portrait. Sign Miss. There was a petition. I helped Alyssa. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't erase Kate's slate. Damn. You watered your plant? I did. You did. Oh, you didn't touch Dana's pregnancy test. I mean, I did. I did touch the pregnancy test. You reorganized Victoria's photos. Tw only 20% of people did that? Okay. You didn't write on a dirt you didn't write on a dirty RV. Uh you saved the bird. You didn't break Chloe's snow globe. Uh you didn't leave any evidence. Uh you read Davis files. Ooh. <clears throat>